Good morning. Uh, I'm Joe. I'm here with AJ, and this is What's Brewing at Palm Beach Tech. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. As we uh, do every morning, we're going to go over the top five news stories in the Palm Beach tech industry and learn a little bit more about one of the guys who helps make it happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is AJ Rippin. He's the COO of Merging Traffic. AJ, tell us a little bit about what you do and what your company does. Sure. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Palm Beach. Hope everyone's having a great Monday so far. I'm the Chief Operating Officer for Emerging Traffic, and really we're a capital formation company, so uh, we're like a catalyst or a lighter fluid uh, really for the market, trying to help uh, stimulate growth, economic development, uh, produce jobs, and uh, obviously you know, return, return on investment for our shareholders. Uh, we're looking to help um, companies that are starting in Palm Beach County and across Florida uh, grow their company and stay in Florida uh, by getting them access to capital and expertise. And, uh, you know, AJ, we work a lot with um, a, a lot of people in the investment community, a lot of people in the technology community around here. Um, and you'd mentioned uh, something about the Florida Angel Nexus as well. Um, maybe if you can mention, uh, one, what they are, and two, what uh, you're up to with them. Sure, absolutely. So the Florida Angel Nexus is a statewide agency. It's nonprofit, and it's uh, got chapters all across the state. And it's really a catalyst to connect uh, investors, uh, private equity, generally investors, uh, that are uh, in Florida uh, to all the innovation that's happening across Florida uh, in the early stage companies. Uh, so that what they do is they match uh, people with expertise and investment dollars uh, to early stage companies to try to find the right fit uh, to help stimulate economic development and growth across the state. And uh, the Florida Angel Nexus um, has chapters in Palm Beach, uh, Tampa, uh, Orlando, Ocala, um, Tallahassee, Tallahassee, and uh, they're going to be launching a women's investment network, and it's going to be headquartered right here in Palm Beach. That's awesome. Yeah. That's really cool. And uh, it, you know, the the folks at Florida Angel Nexus, if you're watching, you're awesome as well. But uh, if there's anybody that you know, or maybe yourself, that's looking for. Um, some investment capital or maybe looking to learn more about how to gain investment capital, check them out. Google Florida Angel Nexus. Uh, they have a great network that is connecting Florida investors to Florida companies. And that's uh, something we need a little bit more of here because, um, you, you know, we are as big of a state as we are. We just are not so much up to par to California just yet. So it's going to be really important to keep those dollars here. Uh, and AJ, you're also on the board of Palm Beach Tech. And uh, you've been a part of uh, this organization for uh, a couple of years now. Um, what have you liked about it? What have you gained from it? Well, first, um, really, really uh, excited about all the things that Joe and the team are doing uh, here in, in, in the, in the uh, local area. Um, I've noticed a lot of more uh, coalescing uh, with all the different groups, uh, even all the way down from Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Boca, all the way up north uh, across the state, um, and really uh, serving as a beacon here locally uh, to let you know Palm Beach shine. Uh, we've had a lot of good uh, press and publicity lately about all the different types of um, things that are happening uh, in our county with tech and startups. And I think you know having this um, stable you know voice uh, that's bringing the innovation uh, out to the market is really powerful. Yeah. And speak of um, some of the cool things that are going on here, we're going to talk now about the top five news stories in the past week here in South Florida. We're going to start um, with number five, and we're going to go on up sure. to number one. Uh, so number five is just more of a, a fan favorite for me. Um, was the uh, there's a article in the Palm Beach Magazine of the top 10 coffee shops for freelancers and entrepreneurs in uh, uh, West Palm Beach. Uh, number one was Subculture Coffee. If everyone knows me, uh, I have that every day, and it's actually the coffee provider here at Palm Beach Tech. It's almost like you pay rent there, you know. I know, it's basically that. Um, and, uh, you know, Harold's Coffee Lounge, Blind Monk is in there. There's a lot of really cool spots if you just need to get out of the office or get out of the house for a day. Uh, it's a pretty good article, and we'll post all these on the video. Uh, number four, which is pretty interesting for me, um, being a North County guy, uh, Scripps Jupiter was just awarded another million dollar grant. It seems like every day they're getting more and more grants to do research, um, uh, to, and they're doing research on uh, a drug to treat uh, some genetic uh, conditions, which is uh, if you go up to Abacoa, go up to Scripps or Max Bonk, seriously, some of the smartest people in the world are up there. 
Well, it's interesting. A lot of times when I when people say you know tech in Florida, they think about you know obviously Disney, you know vacations, you know all the type of recreational activities. But if you look at what's happening in Orlando, in uh, Lake Nona, in Medical City, mm -hmm. and then also with Scripps, you know, as, it, as was recently announced, um, you know, Florida's really establishing itself as a place to go to for health, health yeah. innovation. And that kind of segues into our number three story, uh, is there was actually an article in the South Florida Business Journal from uh, Deborah Lima uh, about the 10 highest valued startups in Florida. Uh, number four was modernizing medicine, and uh, number six was MD Live, two health technology companies. Uh, that you know, Florida is a, a big state for the uh, the healthcare industry in the United States. But you know, it's really cool to see that some companies in South Florida are really getting into it as well. Yeah, and they're getting some real tangible results. The governor was just down here what last month talking about yeah. um, the thousand plus jobs that modernizing medicine is looking to. Phil? Yeah, so I, I think the announcement was like 860 on top of the 600 jobs that they have. So essentially they're going to have 1,500 employees at the facility down there in Boca Raton in the next couple of years, which is, I mean, hearing the stories and being around and seeing that growth is just unbelievable. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, MD Live as well uh, in, in that um, telemedicine space. But going back to number one and number two uh, in that story, number one was obviously Magic Leap. Uh, with the valuation of $3.7 billion estimated, and number two, Jet Smarter, $1.5 billion. And the fact that there were two companies with the B for billion on this list in South Florida is amazing. Yeah, they just, um, I don't know what group it was, but they just launched, like, uh, look at the United States mm -hmm. and, like, the homes of the billion dollar uh, companies. And to see a few on Florida is, is really exciting. It's and then with Magic Leap, you know, one of the things that intrigues me the most is if you start thinking about like what types of clusters will start to develop here in Palm Beach County in South Florida mm -hmm. uh, for tech and innovation. Uh, obviously Magic Leap with the augmented reality uh, and other types of VR mm -hmm. uh, could be a really good stimulant for jobs and you know, yeah. where certain types of uh, spin-offs could you know, form. Yeah, and number two, m moving on to the next part of this list, uh, Yadiko, a company in Boca Raton was named to grow FL uh, GrowFL's uh, Florida companies to watch list, uh, basically saying this is a company that is growing, growing fast here. And uh, I don't know if you know the story, but uh, Yadico is actually a company based in Germany and Europe uh, and focused on that marine industry space for renting yachts and boats uh, for a day up to a week, something like that. Uh, and Stefan Bruin, uh, the founder, decided he needed to come to the United States to bring his company here and expand it. So take this company that had a, such a hold on Europe bring to the U.S., have the same success, and he picked Boca Raton of every place in the United States to do this, and uh, they've been very successful. They're out of the research park at FAU down there, and uh, doing big things. That's fantastic. And uh, number one on... Uh, number one. Number one, uh, Netscape. Remember Netscape back in the day? Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, you you're, you got a couple years on me, so you probably used that a little bit more than I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Netscape's uh, founder, Jim Clark, uh, has founded his next company, Commandscape, right here in Palm Beach, right, right here in West Palm Beach, actually, uh, not too far from where we are. Uh, it's got, still got that scape on its name, uh, but they're developing a technology for uh, the property management for the uh, uh, for, for this um, real estate industry that we have that's budding here in South Florida, and um, he's... He's doubled down on South Florida. This is a Silicon Valley legend that decided, I'm building here in Palm Beach. It's awesome. It's really exciting. Yeah. So, you know, we'll, we'll, be, uh, we'll be keeping an eye on that. We're going to see if we can't um, uh, reach out to, to Jim Clark, maybe have him on this show at one point. But um, if you have anything at all that you'd like to hear us talk about or anybody you'd like to, to see on the show, please uh, message us back. Uh, right uh, in the comments, but AJ, thank you so much for being here. Hey, Rise and Grind Palm Beach, go out and get it today. Make sure you get some of that coffee at one of those 10 coffee lounges, all right? Thanks very much. You guys all have a great week.